Hey, I'm Siddhant from Team RCB, and today I'll be giving you a demo of our project, uh, IPFS Chat. So, IPFS Chat is a decentralized uh, chat application which uses Orbit DB, which is a serverless or uh, distributed database. And uh, so, there's no uh, server or uh, central. There's no central server or central database at any point in time. So, all your messages and your transactions stay on your computer and don't leave your computer. So uh, what was the main reason for building this chat application? Uh, one was privacy and the second was the fact that central structures can go down at any point in time. So uh, for example, uh, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, all three of the largest social networking sites went down the other day for almost an hour. So this is a very uh, huge problem. Uh, so And this application does not deal with any such problems. So let me go ahead and give you a demo of our project. So I'll be opening up two nodes on the same device in two different browsers. The same can be replicated on our different networks as well. So So let's say that the node running on Brave browser is a uh, node A and the node running on uh, uh, Edge browser is node B. So let's go ahead and add a new chat. So the way you add a new chat is by clicking on the plus icon. Once you do that, you'll get a prompt asking you for your peer ID. So uh, the, uh, the way you get a peer ID is by clicking on this uh, avatar image. Will, which will copy the peer ID to your clipboard and uh, you can open up this prompt again and paste that peer ID in. So what that will do is add a entry into your sidebar which depicts your uh, chat history with the other person. So let me go ahead and add a few messages into this chat. Let's say hey node A node B and let me say hey no day on this now all this data is persisted on both the devices so uh, even if you go ahead and refresh the pages this the same data will load back again and now orbit db uses something called an event log so uh, all the messages sent will uh, eventually be consistent uh, even though no, uh, nodes go offline at some point in time. So the other part of this application is payments. So the three parts to this uh, uh, indicator over here. So uh, one is a red symbol, a uh, red indicator which says that you don't have MetaMask and, uh, or, the, or a provider was not detected. The second is uh, when MetaMask was detected, but there's no account associated with the site. So let me go ahead and associate one account with the site. Let me go ahead and enter my password. Uh, so now it says connected. So there. Uh, so now. Uh, your account one is connected to uh, this page. Now I can go ahead and uh, send transactions. So the way uh, I get the other nodes uh, Ethereum wallet address is by uh, PubSub. So uh, behind the scenes, uh, when I click on this button, uh, a PubSub message is sent to node B asking for his or her uh, uh, Ethereum wallet address and the same is replied back to on PubSub itself. So let me go ahead and try to send a payment. So now you may notice that there's no account on this. So uh, the thing that happens when I try to send money when there's no account associated with the other uh, account, other node is I get an error message. So looks like the recipient hasn't set up payments. So what I'll do is I'll add a, an account on this node as well. Connect it. 
okay now so uh, each node is connected to one account so let me go ahead and pay the other person so I'll send about uh, two ethers 0.2 ethers so a transaction window will pop up and you can go ahead and hit confirm so as soon as that happens you'll see this kind of message uh, send 0.2 ETH on drink P network and the other person can verify this by clicking on the status so this will open a blockchain explorer and they can verify that the transaction verify that the transaction has indeed been saved uh, let me for now uh, the app uh, the application supports uh, the mainnet Robsten, Coven, Ringpi, Gauri and uh, the Mumbai Matic testnet so let me go ahead and show you a transaction on the Matic testnet so right now I have about 0.4997 Matic so we send about 0.2 uh, Matic tokens as well pops up and click confirm you can see that the same thing has happened again so you can uh, view the transaction in a blockchain explorer as well. and you can verify uh, now there's one more button uh, which is a downward pointing arrow so clicking on it will uh, will allow you to request money from the other node so let me enter an amount so let's say I want 0.1 ether on the ring P test network and since I'm all it I'm on uh, I'll switch to I'll switch to the ring P test net uh, I have about 3.78 over here so I'll go ahead and request some money so let me say I request 0.2 uh, ETH on the ring P test network uh, let me switch to the ring test testnet on this node as well and I'll go ahead and request point to matic tokens okay and uh, you should see this tran uh, transaction confirmation page I'll go ahead and confirm this Uh, so the transaction has occurred now let me go ahead and try that again and you can see you can verify this transaction as well now uh, after a while the transaction will get confirmed and it will be uh, displayed in your wallet so you can see you receive that transaction thank you